Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jose Alcantara and Ion Nepomniachi. This is a game for the Chessable Masters Rapid Tournament 2024. Alcantara had white pieces and he started with e4. Nepo played d6, d4, g6, going for the modern defense. White to move. Knight to c3 is the most planned move in this position. Alcantara played c3. Bishop to g7, bishop to d3, knight to d7, knight to f3, c5 attacking the white center. Alcantara castle kingside. Knight to f6 is the most played move in this position, but this move does not produce very good results for black. Nepo played b6, rook to e1, bishop to b7, knight from b to d2, h6, queen to e2, black to move, g5, very aggressive move, but this is quite risky because black is attacking and the black king is not safe where he is. It is white to move and to play a move that is asking to be played and that is e5. d takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop takes knight, knight takes bishop, e6, let's take it back. How about g4 and winning that pawn on e5? If g4, then e6, after pawn takes knight, check, king takes on f7, queen to e6, check, king to f8, bishop to g6, and white wins. Back to our game, e6 was played. Rook to d1, queen to c7, Black is intending to castle queenside. Bishop to b5, and now castling queenside. How about rook to d8? In this case, white has this awesome move available. Bishop takes on g5, and after h takes on g5, rook takes on d7, after rook takes on d7, rook to d1, and white is winning back to our game. So, Nepo castled queenside. a4, knight to e7, a5, b takes on a5, bishop takes on d7, check, rook takes on d7, rook takes rook, king takes rook, queen to b5, check, knight to c6, bishop to e3. Believe it or not, my silicon assistant is saying that this position is equal. Maybe it is equal if two computers play each other. But on the human level, this position is difficult to defend for black. The game continued. Rook to b8, queen to a4, bishop to f8, knight to d2, queen takes on e5. And now black is even two pawns up and I should not even mention that the black king is not very safe. Knight to c4, queen to c7. White move. Can white play knight takes on a5 or not? Would you? Alcantara did. Knight takes on a5, bishop to d6. If queen takes on a5, then queen check, winning the black queen, back to our game. So we have bishop to d6, knight to c4, king to e7, knight takes on d6, king takes on d6, rook to d1, king to e5. The black king is now centralized, but this is not an advantage in the middle of a game like this. White to move. How would you continue? Alcantara played f4, check, king to f5, let's take it back. Taking the pawn has a tiny, tiny downside, and that is queen takes pawn, checkmate. Back to our game, 
King to f5 was played. F takes on g5, h5, queen to c2 check, king to e5, white move. White played the move and black resigned. And the move is queen to f2. Black resigned in the view of queen to f4 checkmate. So let's play a random move and then queen to f4 checkmate. What a lovely king hunt by Alcantara. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.